Hello everybody, how are you? Well, hello everybody, how are you? It is time to start our day. It is time to work and play. Hello everybody, how are you? Hi guys, welcome back to another Circle Time. Now, if you were here yesterday, you remember that I asked you to take a picture with your brain of everything that was on the board back here because I have made a lot of changes. Can you take a peek and tell me what is different on this board than what was here yesterday? Let's take a second and we'll look together. Let's see. Well, wait a minute. This is the same. We talked about K yesterday, so that's the same. What's different? Let's see if you remember. Yesterday, there was not this shape. There was this one. We had a triangle. Now we have the shape that is called a star. We're going to talk a little bit about him more in a minute. We have a new color. Yesterday I was wearing a brown sweater and the color that was up there was brown, but today I'm wearing a yellow shirt and our color of the month is yellow. Now, if you look a little bit further, we used to have three numbers posted up here. We had a six, a seven, and an eight. Now we have a nine and a 10. Notice something about the 10. The nine looks like this, single digit, and it has the word nine. A 10, it takes two numbers. We call that a double digit. It takes two numbers to make a 10. And every number that we talk about from here on will have two digits with it. A 10 is made up of a one and a zero standing side by side with the one first. A one and a zero side by side says 10. That's the word 10. So new color, new shape, new numbers, same letter as yesterday, but we have a brand new word here. Yesterday we had the word November. Today we have the word December. You wanna help me clap that one? November, if you remember, had three claps, three syllables. Let's try December. December. It also has three, December. It even sounds like November. It just has a different beginning. Nov became D's. Now, if you're really, really observant and you're really paying close attention, you notice I have a new pointer today too. I had been using an orange pointer. Now we have the color green for our pointer. So we have December. Yesterday, when we met, it was Monday. Yesterday was Monday. Today is Tuesday, December 1st. If today is Tuesday, that means tomorrow will be Wednesday. Let's sing our Days of the Week song. Days of the Week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the Week. 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 So lots of new, there's one other new thing up there. I don't know if you noticed, it's kind of in the background, we don't talk about it, but the border that's up here, it was a fall border for Thanksgiving time in the fall before, now it's a Christmas border. On the Christmas border, let's see, there's uh, an elf hat, a Santa hat, an ornament, a Christmas tree, candy cane, gingerbread, all things Christmas. So we have moved on to a new month and a new season of Christmas. Now, if you notice on my shirt today, not only is it our color, but I also have the letter K on my shirt. It says be kind, and k -k kind starts with the letter K. So I've got our color and our letter on my shirt today. Now, I made my star um, magnifying glass. You know how we've done a circle, then we did a square, then we did a triangle. I made a star one, and it looks like this. This is my star magnifier. So I can go around and I can peek and I can try to find star objects inside and outside of my home. If you'd like to make one too, let's count how many points there are on my star. Maybe you can make one like this. One, two, three, four, five. My star has five points on it. Now, of course, new shape, new song. You ready? It goes like this. The points go in and out. The points go in and out. In and out and in and out. The points go in and out. So it's kind of like there are these five points on the outside that we counted. But what about these points in the middle where the two lines come together? Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five of those as well. Let's sing that one more time. The points go in and out. 
The points go in and out, in and out, and in and out. The points go in and out. So that is our shape this month. Now, we're not going to write our number nine today. We wrote the letter K yesterday, so I thought maybe we would practice drawing or writing a star together. So what I have, and you can find this on Facebook, your grown-up can print it out for you. I have a yellow star here inside of my, what I call dry erase pocket here. But the reason I did it like this is so I could do it again and again and again. Because when I use the dry erase pocket, I'm just gonna do a little scribble up here. Watch what I can do. Let me write my letter K. When I use the dry erase pocket, I can take my eraser and I can make it disappear, and then I can do it again and again and again. So this star, like I said, is on Facebook for your grown-up to print out for you. And then if you have the pocket, you can put it inside and use the special dry erase marker. If you don't, how about just your finger? Then you can still do it again and again and again. You can just trace the yellow lines with your finger. You can also use a crayon, a marker, a pencil, and you can still go over it again and again and again if you'd like to. But I'm gonna use my dry erase marker. Now, mine is a little crooked. I'm going to turn it so the point is pointing up to the top here. When we do our letters and our numbers, I always tell you guys, start at the top. Well, I'm going to let you start wherever you want when you're drawing your star. A star is like a bunch of triangles. It's like one, two, three, four, five triangles put together. So you can start on any triangle you want. I'm going to start at the top just because I'm used to it. And I'm going to go, I'm going to follow the yellow line down. I'm going to go down the slide. I'm going to go over. And I go down the slide, down the slide, up the slide, down the slide, up the slide, up the slide, down the slide, up the slide. And I go back to where I began. And I drew a star. Let's do this. Let's erase it. See, like I told you, how about I do it in a different color? I used the color blue first. Let's see what other colors I have. How about I'm going to do it in the color green this time. This time I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm going to go up, out, oops, I'm not being very straight, in, up, down. And I'm going to keep following all along, in and out, in and out, just like our song said. And I traced my star. Good job, you guys. All right, let me push this to the side because now I would like to make a star with you. The items that I have, the objects that I have to make a star that I'm going to use today, I have two. I have toothpicks. I have several toothpicks and I have marshmallows. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take one marshmallow and he's gonna kind of be my base point and I'm gonna to stick toothpicks in him. How many should I stick? I'm gonna do five, just like we saw the five points. One, you can help me count. Two, let's turn it a little bit more. Three, are you starting to see a star shape a little bit? four, it's getting crowded in there, and then I have number five. Now right now, the toothpicks themselves look like a star, but so you can really see it, I'm gonna take some more marshmallows and I'm gonna put them on the ends. Then you can really see my five points of my star. I can put them all the way across the ends. Now, does it have to be five points? It's your star, you can make it whatever you want. I just chose to make mine five points like this, like the one that we saw. There's my star that I made out of toothpicks and marshmallows. You can put more toothpicks in. You can use something besides marshmallows. Do you have Play-Doh? Maybe you can use Play-Doh. Do you have blocks? Do you know how to make a star out of blocks? See if you can do it. See what you can use to create a star today. It doesn't have to be a perfectly shaped star like that. See what you can use. See if you can find some stars around your house too. Now I have a really interesting fact about stars. When you go out at night, you see stars shining in the sky. And on a clear night, you can see sometimes lots and lots of stars. But did you know that in the daytime, you also see a star? When you go outside and the sun is shining, that's a star. The sun that shines in our sky is actually a star. It is a huge, hot, hot star. And when you do go outside and you're looking for stars, don't look right at the sun. That's not safe for your eyes. But that is actually a star, which is a pretty cool thing to think about. We don't usually think of the sun as being a star, but it is. So that is pretty special. Now, before we say goodbye today, there's one more thing I wanted to tell you about. We went back with the color yellow. Way back when, way, way, way back when, when we started first meeting together, we started talking about the color wheel and primary and secondary colors. Let's take one more peek at that today before we leave each other. 
Do you remember this? We had this out a long time ago. There are three colors on here that are primary colors and three colors that are secondary colors. So let's count all of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I said there are three primary colors. Well, the very first primary color we learned about is this one. It was red. Today, we've introduced the second primary color from this wheel, and that is this color, yellow. And when we come back after Christmas time, we'll look at this primary color. That one is blue. So these are the primary colors. Now these other colors, the reason they're called secondary is because they are made by color mixing, by putting two different colors together. And our color wheel shows us how, which two colors to put together. Our first two primary colors that we talked about were red and yellow. See where they are on the color wheel? What's in between them? The color orange, right? To get the color orange, that secondary color, you take these two colors and mix them together and that's how you get orange. So, can you tell me what two colors I have to mix together to get purple? That would be the red and the blue. Purple's in between there. So if I mix these two colors together, I would get purple. One more down here. How do I get green? What two colors would I have to mix together to get this green color down here? I would have to take the blue and the yellow and mix them together and that would give me the color green. Primary colors and secondary colors, and this is only the second primary color we've talked about so far this year. Red and yellow are the two that we've talked about. We did talk about the color orange in October, so we did talk about one secondary color. Wow, that is pretty cool, isn't it? How you can mix colors and get brand new beautiful colors. All right, you guys, thank you for coming back for a second circle time this week. Go on a star hunt, see what stars you can find. Go trace your stars, print them off, and see if you can do it. I do think if we're talking about stars though, we do need to sing one more song before we go. You know which one it is? Let me, can you write this? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. All right, guys, two circle times this week. Nice job. I will see you tomorrow when we will be beginning to talk about Christmas and the real reason we celebrate Christmas. Come back and join me. I will see you then. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day.